Hey T-Birds, welcome to the new North Brantford High School. Let's take a look. So once you walk in, you're greeted by the security guard. This is the door to the main office and let's check out the lobby. Welcome to the lobby of the new North Brantford High School. As you can see, we have a lot of new stuff. Now once 7.30 comes along, these doors lock and you're gonna have to sign in with the front desk. As you can see, we have a lot of new stuff, like the showcases, a new North Brantford inlay. So the main office is right over here and guidance is right there. Now let's go meet Eric Izzo in the cafeteria. Thanks, Paul. Now we're gonna take a look at our brand new cafeteria. As you can see, we have a lot of seating options from high chairs to traditional seating to soft cushioned restaurant style. One of the cafeteria's main focal points is our nine panel flat screen display. Over here is our little alcove area. It's outfitted with a bunch of different charging stations up top and underneath our cushion seats. The media center and library is located just across the hall. We'll get to Nate in a moment with that, but let's head on over to the servery. Right here's our servery. This is where students are gonna get their food. We're gonna come in through here. Everything's along this back wall. It's nice and organized. Straightforward, come get your food from all these brand new state-of-the-art appliances. Then you head back out into the main cafeteria. Across from the servery is our T-Bird Nest Store. This is gonna give students the option to buy supplies, apparel, and a bunch of other options down the road. Out here is our new outdoor seating area. As you can see, there's loads of room for students to come out here and eat lunch on a nice day, come out here for study hall, and overall just enjoy the outdoors. Welcome to the MBHS Media Center. When you walk in, you notice the immense size of this room in comparison to our old school library. This is the space to check out books, um, find additional resources, and over there is a maker space. This here is the maker space in case you want to work on some projects that require some extra materials like poster board and that kind of thing. Here is where the open choice and the ELL rooms are. Right over here is the collaboration area featuring an excellent TV. As you can see, there is plenty of comfortable seating um, to hang with friends as you work on your projects together. Here's a space to hang out and study with friends in some comfortable chairs with your textbook and notebook out. This space offers the opportunity to practice presentations with your peers or to um, be a part of a class. Welcome to the second floor. Here's where all the classrooms are. Over here to our right, we have a common area where kids can sit down, work, study, anything to prepare for their next classes and go right to the classrooms. This is how you get to the auditorium. Right here is the hallway connecting to it. And all you guys want to check out a classroom, so let's go do that right now. And here are the new classrooms. Here we have our new Promethean boards, our teacher's desk, and all the seats for you guys.
coming further down the hallway, we got one of our two art rooms. Let's go check it out. This is a dark room for our photo class. Here we're able to develop more photos in a much bigger space than the last one. Here's Ms. McGinney's classroom where she's able to teach all her art classes such as photo and drawing. And then in here is a shared office between Kaplan and McGinney which connects to the Ms. Kaplan's. And here's Ms. Kaplan's room. It's a big space for her to do all the art projects that she assigns and for all the students to have their creative flow and work on anything they want to. Between the two art rooms, we have our bathrooms, both girls and boys. And here we have a showcase for any accolades from students and staff. Welcome to the third floor. I know that you guys have seen a lot of classrooms already, but I'm gonna take you up and show you a science lab. Now this science lab has access to the rooftop garden. So we've just walked into Miss Palomini's room where you'll see sinks and we have a special access point to the rooftop garden. Now we're about to enter Mr. Bickelhoff's classroom. This is another example of a science classroom. And now we're in one more science classroom. Now this one has an area designated for learning and an area designated for experiments in labs. Now here's one of the best views from the school. You get floor to ceiling windows with views of the softball fields, tennis courts, and the baseball field. Welcome to the main office. Let's go take a look. And here we have like a little sitting area, so if you need to wait to see someone, you guys can take a seat here. We have some of our front desks where our office staff will work. To the right, we have a conference room. Down this hallway, we have a bunch of administrative offices. Uh, here's one. This is the Dean of Students office. And then we have Mr. Steffler's office. And if you happen to be down by the end, you can exit the office over here. All the way down the hallway, we're just moving down to the nurse's office. Behind you, we have like a little bit of table and chairs for students if they need to come sit. To the right here, we have an exam room, a bathroom, um, the nurse's office where she will do her work. And this is where if you're sick or need any care from the nurse, you can hang out here. Um, curtains where beds will be and sinks and cabinets where stuff will go. Now we're at our guidance office so we're gonna come take a look inside. Um, here's the front office our front desk here at guidance. Um, if you have any questions or anything or if you need to sit and wait for a guidance counselor you can wait here. Here's the conference room in the guidance office. Mm -hmm. 
This is Miss O's room, the social worker, so if you ever need her, that's where her office is. This is a work room that will be used by the guidance office. If you need the school psychologist, her office will be here. This is another guidance counselor's office, along with this one. And this is Mr. Tor's room. When you take a left out of Mr. Tor's room, you have the meeting room in here for guidance. And one thing you'll notice here is how spacious it is for any meetings that need to happen in guidance or if any students need to work out here in guidance. So it's very nice, a lot bigger than our last guidance office. So above me, you can see that we have security cameras that are now all installed throughout the new building for our safety as a school community. Um, this is a beautiful school and it's been an honor to walk through it. And it's an honor to have it um, here at NB and enjoy the new school.